I love LEGO video games, and if you've clicked on this video, you probably love all the LEGO video games too. Mark, would you like to play all the LEGO video games in a row? Yes, yes I would. Thanks for asking. Let's play all the LEGO games. Guys, gals, and non-binary pals, it's time for the next part of LEGO Star Wars, a complete saga. I think we're on to uh, chapter two of Attack of the Clones. It feels like a dog's age since I've done this. I feel like I'm far too warm. Let's take off this jump here. Arr! While it's loading. Okay, how's everyone, how's everyone been? Hope you're all um, tickety-boo. We've been ramping up to Christmas. Where are we? 7.6%. Doing well. Oh, I'm out of breath just taking my jacket off. My my um, my um jumper off there. Gee whiz. Right. Discovery on Camino. Right, let's hope this is a bit more fun than the last episode. Because the last episode wasn't a great deal of fun. ba 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 ba, -ba. Just gonna rebalance the uh, the gamepad here so that I can uh, so that it's a bit a bit more straight because it's sat on a box which I realise has got a a big bow in it. There we go. Right, episode two, Sack of the Clones, chapter two, discovery on Camino. As the separatists' activity continues to destabilise the galaxy, Obi Wan Kenobi investigates the attempted assassination of Senator Padme Amidala with his astromech droid R four P seventeen. The Jedi Knight tracks the source of a poison dart to the remote world of Kamino. Oh yes, that was uh, when they tried to uh, tried to get old Amidala through the window. Another star field. That was quite a cool um, a cool design for a, for a spaceship there. I thought that was one of the better ones from this uh, from this series of uh, cultural atrocities known as. The prequels had a big argument with one of my best friends, Andy, about um, about the prequels. He's a good twenty-something odd years younger than me, so uh, far better positioned to be a fan of the prequels than I was. Um, and we had quite the heated debate the other day. Um, needless to say, I had the last laugh. No, not really. Um, I think uh, I think I came into the prequels with certain expectations that for me would need to be met to make them of any good quality and I think Andy probably approached them without the <laughs> without the burden of insight um, he didn't have those the, the, those the, the, those preconceptions those preconceived notions of what a Star Wars game should be so anyway we're on the rainy rainy Camino collecting up the studs I think uh that tall alien there uh, wants us to follow them, but... Ah! Get up there. Oh, no. We can't, um... No, we're going to need Jar Jar or similar. Yeah, they want us to follow them, but uh, I think we need to have a bit of an explore first to make sure we collect up the studs, get all the bits and bobs. Now, hang on. P P P417, that right? That was it, wasn't it? Can... <laughs> Can just F off. Get in the sea. The uh, the guys, gals, non-binary pals thing, I actually... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Get up! Or, yes, okay. Yeah, the guys, gals, non-binary pals thing, um, that I can't claim um, uh, I'm being original there. I actually heard that on... Uh, I think it was the most recent episode of Road Quest... Which is a really good um, show put out by the lads and ladies and people. Uh, trying to get away from that. <laughs> That's exactly why I'm using that line. And, I, and, I, and I, I, you know, I'm a 43 year old guy who is aware he's living in a different time now and is trying to move with those times and sometimes failing, sometimes managing it. But. Um, so on the last episode of this, I'm pretty sure I said something like, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, comrades, which is actually a line from Christopher Hitchens, which I just thought was a cool line. Um, and then Ben Ulmer from Loading Ready Run on, on Road Quest said this line, um, guys, gals, non-binary pals, I was like, hang on a minute, yeah, I'm, I'm excluding people, so that includes everyone. So that's, that's, yeah, I'm trying to be the best me I can. Anyway, long neck. There we are. You got a big long neck. Neck on you, which uh, is a British British expression. 
possibly more Irish. Um, neck. Oh, beep that. Jeez. Neck on him. You know, you, 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 if someone's got a neck on him, they're... Um, hang on. Let me just have a look at the recording time. 6.19. I'm just going to write down that I swore because I need to beat that. Can't have that going out. Um, yeah. Uh, the um, swear. Okay. Uh, what was I talking about? Yeah, neck neck on him. It's just, you know, look at the neck on him. He, he, who does he think he is? That sort of thing, you know. Um, really have derailed myself by accidentally swearing there. Had another job interview yesterday. What day is it today? Yes, yesterday. I feel like it went very well. Um, I actually went to town early because it was a bit rainy out there. And if you know me, you know I ride a, a little 125 scooter most of the time. Um, and I couldn't find my waterproof trousers. Um, let's brush this floor up. Um, I went an hour early because they, they'd given out rain. And I thought, well, if I get there early and I have got rained on, I've got a good hour to sit in the coffee shop and, um, and dry off. Got there early, didn't get wet. Went to the coffee shop. I was sat there on my uh, on my phone doing my Japanese lessons uh, on the app, and started sipping my coffee through the spout of the little you know the go cups they have. And I was like, oh, there's no coffee coming out. That's because I was pouring it down my front and into my crotch um, because the lid hadn't been put on properly. So thanks very much, Costa. I went into the uh, the interview looking like I'd wet myself and smelling of latte. So. Uh, Swings and roundabouts, um, but yeah, the interview went well. They they were they were all right with the. You know, I explained what had happened. They thought it was quite fun. Um, we had some, you know, it's a delicate balance when you're in an interview, isn't it? You've got to show that you know you're professional enough and you, know, you have the skill set, but also have the appropriate sort of level of, of humour, um, which I think I managed um, as they were. As we were saying goodbye, and um, she says, oh, can you, you know, make your way down the stairs there You're on your own? I say, it's fine, I haven't fallen down the stairs in years. And I sort of think back, and I think, well, that's that's quite funny, that. That's quite witty. But is that the witty that you want? <laughs> so we will see. Um, but I have got an email back from another job, and I'm aware that uh, this is nothing to do with Star Wars. I'll just say, yes, I've got another interview. Boom, boom. Um, so here we go, then. This is... Not very exciting, is it? So far, I doesn't matter. I mean, I, I, it's it's like a comfort game. I think I may have said this before. It's you know, especially the early Lego games, very much are they're like comfort food. You know, they're like a lovely hot stew when you get home on a a wet and windy rainy day. Um, you know, they they just sort of uh, they warm the cockles of your heart, so they do. But um, I. I'm, 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 I'm under no illusion that this is an exciting bit of uh, level design. What is going Oh, I thought I thought um, R4P17 there had a tumour on his bum. Golly. Okay. Do, 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 do. Rip, dip, tiny. Right then. These light up. Let's see. Can we light them all up? Beep, 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 beep. Come on. Oh, I missed one. Hey, we got there. Got there. Okay. Okay. Wangle the wangler. Oh, I bet there was a room there I didn't go in. Old Big Neck wanted me to go in a room. Ah, and they're not stormtroopers. Now, my friend Andy did say that... Um, I think it's... Is it the Clone Wars TV show? Like, they're, they're cartoons or animated jobbies, aren't they? Kind of explain some of the things from the prequels. I don't know if that's fair to say. Um... I mean, my counterpoint was, well, the prequels should stand on their own. I shouldn't need to watch extraneous materials. You know, I don't need to read the 300 or whatever books there are in the expanded universe as it was back in the day to understand the Star Wars films. Um, they are, they're fluff. You know, they're, they're, that's my sense. No. Um, but yeah, I remember being quite excited by the look of those, um, those troopers there, the clone troopers. Um, and then being a bit disappointed that they weren't 
I don't know. That they weren't stormtroopers, I suppose. <laughs> they just weren't right. Actually, this is the one where the change in Boba Fett's voice... Now, did the, did the change in Boba Fett's voice come from this? Or was it vice versa? Did they have someone else voice him for the um, special editions first or the other way around? I imagine it was um, the other way around, wasn't it? But they, they, they turned him into a... Is it New Zealander, that fella? I can't remember. He didn't say Baz Luhrmann's a genius, mate. So he might not have been. Um, he might not have been a uh, New Zealander because that's what New Zealanders say, isn't it? Baz Luhrmann, oh, he's a genius. Um, mind you, isn't isn't Taika Waititi? Isn't he a New Zealander? He might be an Australian. I don't know. He's very soft-spoken, so I, I, you know, I tend to think he probably is a, a New Zealander, mate. Anyway, here we go then. R4's um, certainly uh, been of great use. Had a lot to do. Pro Gamer. Come to the front there. Look at that. Look, extra coins. Can I jump through there? No. It's a nice shot, that, though. That's quite, um, that's quite nice. You know, it doesn't, it would, doesn't need to zoom out like that, but it just, you know, that's quite at atmospheric, I think. Do -do 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 -do. I always thought that this bit of music was very, um, so I'm just stopping here to finish my thought, was very Indiana Jones, the, the horns there, the French horns and things. Um, obviously it's John Williams, and John Williams has certain tricks he likes to do. Um, oh, I, I had it in my head, I was going to get shot at then. Only stormtroopers get into that, okay. Um, I thought this was the bit when Django, Django? Oh yeah, it is. Arr. Oh. Well. I mean, you're a Jedi. He could have stopped him. He just punched him in the mush. Go, oi, stop that. You swine. And then just smacked him. <laughs> At least make it end at the... Oh, no. Oh, I'm going to go again, but just go tick 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 now. Pointless. Okay. So anyway, what else? What else? So Christmas, obviously, coming up very soon. Very exciting. Mrs. C always says she... Oh, I don't like Christmas. My wife. I don't like Christmas. I can't be bothered. But, um... Ah, she likes Christmas. She's, uh... Asked me to invite a couple of my friends over um, for Christmas. Uh, Artie and John, three, two other of me best friends. And so we're going to spend all of Christmas, so Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, Boxing Day, maybe even the day after, um, building models. Not that they know it yet. That's a point. I don't think Artie watches these videos. I don't think John does either. So, um, yeah, we'll be building... Uh, Gunpla models, which are Gundam plastic models. My friend Artie got into those a while back. And they look like quite good fun. <laughs> so I had a go and uh, I built myself an R77... Oh, God. RX-77-2 gun cannon, he is. And uh, he's really cool. He's sat here on my desk. But I've got myself that one. So I bought a high-grade version of him. So that's quite a, a simple model. And I've bought myself a master grade version which is a far more complex and bigger model of him and for the chaps they've got well Artie's got a uh, uh, an F92 uh, an F91 version 2 which is a bit fancy and uh, that's a very recent model so it's quite complex and John I've got uh, a Zegok this means nothing to you if you don't know what, what these things are. But So John's is an older model like mine, so it's a bit simpler. Because Artie's very experienced in building these models. Although he hasn't built, the master, built a master grade before. He has built real grade and high grade. Um, again, this means nothing to you if, if you don't know what I'm talking about. What have I lit up there? Right. Okay, have we got to stand in the right places? Ah. How clever. Not the trickiest puzzle. In the world, but there we are. Oh, sipping blue milk. 
clink. Give me the cash. I didn't even notice that we got uh, true Jedi. Okay. So yeah, that's um, Christmas coming up. Oh, and Postman's just been. Hang on. Luckily, my uh, my desk is just below the uh, the post box. Oh, I've got something from Australia here. That will be some um, water slide decals, decals, decals. I don't know how you say it. Decals, stickers, but they they they're water slide ones, so they're a little easier to apply than stickers, and they um, they can look a bit better. So yeah, that's exciting, isn't it? Uh oh, Django's laying bombs. Laying traps. There's some stuff over there, though, so let's go and get all the coins. Can R4. R4. It is R4, isn't it? Yeah. Arthur. <laughs> right then. Bow jangles. Now then, do we jump over these? What do we think? Well, if you get near, they'll blow up. Oh, they're a bit like creepers, aren't they? Get near him, then uh, then step back. Oh shoot! Are we gonna be all right there? Yeah. So there we are. This this is John Williams. It is most generic. This music. It's it's fine, isn't it? But it's um it's not one you're gonna be gonna be whistling while you're walking down the street at all. It's um it's fine. It's okay. Okay, we haven't got a uh, a grappler on this run through. We'll have to wait for free play for that. That's fine. That's fine. Not a problem. Not a problem. Okay, I stand on that. The bridge goes. Okay. Oh shoot! <laughs> Come back. Come back. I want to do that because. Uh, there we are. I, I didn't get a good idea of what the um, what the 3D was there. You know what I mean? My depth perception on that was uh, rather poor. You can turn the lamp. Lovely. Ah ha ha. Nope, can't smash that. Nothing going on over here. Okay. Oh, I think I remember how this level ends. This is the one with the... Um, Oh, it's going to be embarrassing because it's, uh, it's quite a tricky fight. I'm not very good at boss fights. This is the one, I think, that ends with you fighting on a uh, on a launching pad or whatnot uh, against Slave 1. Why is that there? That's worrying. Isn't it? Oh, yeah, these dudes. Okay. Let's let's just get in there. While we still got the power-ups on. And try and shut the doors. Oh. Ah. I think it is R2 that shuts those doors. Oh, shoot. I thought I might be able to use the force on them. Well, hopefully they won't uh, attack their own kind. Yay. Okay. You wouldn't shoot a robot with glasses, would you? You wouldn't download someone's rope. Sorry. Making no sense, am I? Um, okay, there we go. My wife's away in uh, in London today. She's she's um, uh, in the education committee for the British Society of Echocardiographers, don't you know? So she's off at their committee meeting, their annual committee meeting. Um, even with the uh, the rail strike that's on at the moment, um, it's a bit of a nightmare journey for her. That means I'm left home on my own. For rather longer than usual today. Hence, perhaps, the reason my thoughts aren't as... Uh, you know, I'm, not, I'm not quite as scintillating and on the bobby ball as I usually am. In my defence, I have eaten a whole packet of haichu. I love that stuff. Oh, so nice. They sell it in the co-op round. Well, it's actually a spa now. I walked in today and it's a spa now. When did that happen? Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's good stuff. It's good stuff. But I've eaten a whole packet and drank an energy drink, so, um, oh, hello. My, uh, why don't we just hit him? My energy's all over the place is what I'm trying to say. 
Excuse me. Okay, this is the fight that I, uh... Oh, no. I'm going to look like such a twonk. I really am. Oh, especially on this tiny screen. I haven't got my readers, my reading glasses on either. My accent's all over the place today as well, isn't it? Right. It's something to do with block his shots, then then, then, then do something. I don't know. Chum chum. Chum chum. Okay. Chum chum. Chum chum. Yeah. I think you've got to block him, and then R2's got to go and get those pylons or something? Yeah, there we go. That's it, that's it. Okay. Blimey. Oh, look at him defending me. Ah, oh, good guy, Kenobi. That was one thing we argued about. Was um, my contention that uh, Ewan McGregor's portrayal of Obi-Wan was, um, was not, not good. Um, he didn't... I don't know. He just seemed very blah, very um, anodyne. Um, you know, not not excited to be there. So what have I just done? I, I did all the things. I did all the things. <laughs> did I not do them quick enough, maybe? I don't know. Oh, 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 he's firing missiles at me. Can I redirect the missiles? Did they light up? Yes, they did. Oh, shoot. There he goes, there he goes, there he goes. Okay, cool, 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 cool. No doubt, no doubt. All right. All right, all right, all right. Get out of the way. Send that to him. Bang. Okay, this isn't so bad, is it? Yeah, ninja skills. But yeah, I just found um, you and McGregor to be fairly unengaged in the role. Um, but then he pointed out, well, Alec Guinness isn't exactly exciting, but the thing with Alec Guinness is he's got a weight of a weight of, of work, the body of work behind him. Where are you going? Swine. Um, that that you, you, you can believe in because you know Alec Guinness to be... Same with Peter Cushing as Moff Tarkin. You know their their previous work, or you did um, where you're of the age to be uh, a fan of Star Wars back in the 80s. Um, you, you, they, they carried a, a certain weight with them. And... Yeah, that meant you you gave their character a bit more weight, um, and maybe that's the case with you and McGregor. But he hasn't had as many, or hadn't at that point had as many classics as uh, as Alec Guinness, and I mean, still hasn't. Obviously, Alec Guinness is you know a legend. But there we go, levels ended, and uh, managed not to talk about it very much at all. <laughs> so uh, hooray for me! But yeah, I um to be continued, Andy. To be continued. Okay, true Jedi. We did alright on that level. That wasn't so bad. I've woken up again now. Maybe I'll do another level straight after. Not on this video, don't worry. You're free to go now. Um, but yeah, not the most exciting of the levels. What do you think the things are? I hope it's that spaceship. <coughs> it's a four-sided shape. I hope it's that spaceship with a ring on it. I think that was, that was one of the cooler spaceships from the prequels. Okay, there we go. We have completed... Actually, I'm just going to leave it on there because I'm going to go and get myself a drink and then come back and play another level. So we've completed uh, Chapter 2 of Episode 2, Sending the Clones. Um, Attack of the Clacks. Oh. See, I'm getting my own joke wrong now. Anyway, we've completed that. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. hope you enjoyed the ramblings. I'll try and think of something more original to talk about next time. Love you. Bye. <laughs>